watching the game. Well, Joan Bear, I wish I was, but the TV's in there and the lawnmower's in here. Life is about compromise. You can't have your cake and eat it too. Well, I can pull it up right here. Big top bundle. Dad, if we have cake, we should eat it. Stream live TV with double the internet speed. Enhance your services with the Cox bundle, including advanced TV, home phone, and a fast to no more. Uh, Look at these. They're hey. valuable room to go coupons in your newspaper. Hey, the coupon says save you big money. Uh, One day only Thursday, New Year's Day. Coming uh, uh, January 2020. Did you hear that? Extra savings uh, coupons uh, plus interest uh, refinancing until January 2020. Uh, That's uh, Monday only Thursday, uh, January 1st, New Year's uh, Day. So hurry in. It's uh, a great day to shop at Rooms to Go. Uh, Last year in an award-winning report, Lisa Guerrero told you about the case of a 16-month-old baby who was brutally beaten and later died. But the woman charged in the case was sentenced to just 77 days in jail. Many of you were outraged. Well, there's been a major development. With just over a thousand residents, the Queen Town only for 77 days. They're talking about this woman, Christy Schaefer. She's the only one who was killed by her when she died. The death was ruled a homicide by the medical examiner. But Christy was never charged with killing baby Alyssa. Instead, she was charged and pled guilty to a far lesser crime, neglect of a dependent. Christy could have been sentenced to up to 20 years in prison, but the judge in the case, Scott Vanderbeck, gave her just 10 years and then surprisingly suspended six of them. But his leniency was far from over. In a shocking twist, Judge Vanderbeck